And we want to know just how difficult it is to go solar at your house. For answers, we talked to Bob Thomason, a man who's wired up with solar panels in Myers Park, one of the leafiest and shade-filled areas of Charlotte. Right now, it's showing about, I think, 1,100 watts which is about half the total capacity, and that's because it's early in the morning and some of the panels are still shaded. When the sun is shining, we're using the electricity that's produced by our panels. There are times when the panels are producing electricity, like right now, where nobody's in the house and we're not using any electricity. In that case, the electricity goes back out on the grid and Duke Energy pays us for that electricity. And Duke energy pays us for that electricity and other people in our neighborhood get to use it so it doesn't go to waste for the year this this is telling us that we've saved eight hundred and forty one dollars on our utility expenses these systems are set and forget you, you put these panels up they're guaranteed for twenty years there's nothing that can hurt those panels that wouldn't hurt your roof the disadvantage of solar if there is one is that you have to come up with a lump sum of money to buy the panels When we're sending electricity out to the grid, that meter actually spins backwards. So that's a great feeling, too, when you see that, that meter spinning backwards. When people ask me about payback, when is this system going to pay back? I tell them it paid us back the day we turned it on and flipped the switch and started producing electricity from the sun. There is no better feeling than knowing that we're doing that, and we'll do it for the next 25 years. 